who knew I would make it this far, they hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I make it look easy. And welcome back to the Rockfield campus of Montgomery College for game two of our doubleheader. In this one, the Montgomery College Raptors welcome in the men's team from CCBC Catonsville, the Cardinals. I'm Michael Brown alongside my partner, Andre Anderson, and our stat man extraordinaire, Evan Brown. And uh, uh, Andre, we're looking forward to a really excellent game tonight. We are, we are. We already had a one uh, good game earlier from um, the women's game. So this one, I guarantee is gonna be just as good. Yeah, the Raptors women team uh, led from start to finish to uh, take uh, the opener of our doubleheader. And uh, we are all set for uh, game two. And uh, let's run down the starters for, uh, for both teams. First for Catonsville. Number two, Jamal Lee, a guard. Number three, Murray Grant, also at guard. Number 23, Michael Morgan. Number 24, Albright Obodi. And number 35, Andre Stallings McCargo. Yes, and uh, head coaches. Uh, head coach is TJ Purelio. Pure Excuse my uh, mispronunciation. And assistants are Ashley Simmons and Roderick Campor. Campor. All right, and the starters for the Raptors. Number four, Jaden Rowe. Number five, Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. Number 13, Donovan Keyes. Number 20, Will Chichua. And number 42, Sebastian Dokum. Yes, and the Raptors are uh, led by Coach Jamal Wise, head coach Jamal Wise, and assistant Elliot Headley. Also, a uh, couple other uh, assistants that I, I neglected to put on your sheet. We've got uh, Junior Blackman, longtime assistant here, and Ted Green. And our officials tonight are Jacob Long, Matt Malone, and Sam Blue. So uh, the Raptors come into this one with a record of six and eight, over, six and eight overall. They are one and two in Maryland Juco. CCBC, the Cardinals, come in with a record of nine and six, and they are three and two in Maryland Juco. And uh, Catonsville will be in black with the red trim, the Raptors in gray with purple trim. And we are all set to get underway. Jumping center for uh, Catonsville is number 24, Albright Obode. And Will Chichua will jump for the Raptors. Albright Abode is from Ireland. Wow. Okay. That's a little interesting tidbit I picked up and uh, found that fascinating. He just put up some good numbers for uh, Cadenceville. And there's the jump. And we're underway. Morgan with the ball. Michael Morgan inside to Abode. Stallings McCargo off the mark, and the rebound is to Sebastian Dokum. Sebastian Dokum is uh, first in Maryland Juco in rebounds, and he is seventh in the nation wow. in rebounds. I mean, he is a force to be reckoned with down in, in the post. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, six foot ten, 200 and don't have the stats on my seat, but 200 and something pounds, I mean. Yeah, he's about 220. Yeah, that's a big and, guy. Uh, nothing but muscle. Yeah, that's a big guy. We are underway. Hoping for a great second game. The Raptors women's team uh, scoring an impressive win in the opener. There's a block. 
by Robinson. Robinson is second in Maryland Juco in blocks, and he gets his first one real quick. Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. His brother is also on the team, number 11, uh, Mohammed Abdul Mateen Robinson. He'll be playing, uh, if he plays tonight, it'll be his first game of the season as he has uh, recovered from a, uh, from a knee injury. Yeah, it's good to see him back. Yeah, he's been cleared to play. Inside. And a good a bucket there by Robinson. Fast pace to, uh, to begin with. As Caden Mill is off to a, a quick 5-2 lead. Jaden Rowe with the ball inside to Doka, and he scores. Catonsville wanted to travel, didn't get it. From the corner, three ball is good. That is number two, Jamal Lee. That's a three. Robinson. Jaden Rowe with the basketball to Will Chichua has it knocked out of bounds. Will Chichua is back from an injury as well. Yeah, he's been out four or five games, is that correct? Yep, four or five games with turf, uh, with turf toe. That's a painful uh, injury that does not help in a basketball oh, not at all. situation. Rowe inside to Doakman, back to Rowe. The shot, in and out, no good. A frenetic early going, which we expected. Almost taken away there by uh, Keyes. Uh, it'll stay down at the Catonsville end. I didn't really see the foul there, but hey, that's just me. Uh, I know. <laughs> I, I, I don't disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, he went up straight, grabbed the ball. I thought that was within the rules, but hey. And now we got a little uh, extracurricular activities going on out here. A little, a little too much chatter. And they're going to call a tee. Somebody has been uh, given a tee. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of talking's been going on. So we're not even three minutes into the game, and temper's already running high. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, it's it happens in sports, you know. I mean, oh, both absolutely. teams, both teams are trying to win. All these players are competitors, uh, but so early in the game. Technical was on a Raptor. I'm not sure who it was. I might have been Chachua. It was on uh, Will Chachua. Yeah. That's what I thought. I did not want to uh, defame him. So, there was a previous foul was on Dokum, and then the extracurricular activities ensued. Ooh. Looks like he was out of bounds for me, no call. Murray Grant, oh. Murray Grant with the bucket. He is the leading scorer for uh, uh, for uh, the Cardinals. Yeah, he's aggressive when he has average. Ball. Yeah, he averages 18.6 a game. by Jamal Lee, number two. Raptors uh, in the hole. Yeah, it's a fast start by Catonsville. 
Catonsville two of two in the early going from three. There's a nice feed to number five, Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. Lee, sorry, Murray Grant off the mark. And there's a whistle. Jump ball. And timeout on the floor. Yeah, this has been a very fast paced game so far. It's, uh, the pace has been uh, blinding. Yeah. Both teams off to a good start shooting, but uh, Catonsville has nine shots from the floor versus six for the Raptors. Yeah, and they're also two for three from threes compared yeah. to the uh, 0 for two for threes from uh, NC. Yeah. That's the difference in the game right now uh, as the Raptors have yet to hit a three or take a three, which is surprising. And no free throws, of course, for the Raptors yet, whereas uh, Catonsville is three for three from the line early. Three team fouls on the Raptors, none so far on Catonsville. Give it time, it will change. Good look at Will Chachua, number 22. And Lance Porter is now in for Catonsville, number 11. And in for the Raptors is number 32, Landon Martinez. One of the new players the Raptors just added. Yeah, an exciting prospect. Uh, is this his first game today? This is his first game. Yep. Also in for the Raptors is number one, Kanari Smith. This is his second game for the Raptors. The Raptors were able to add some players who um, were transfers. They had to sit out the first semester. Uh, but they are now uh, on the roster and contributing. Martinez misses and almost taken away there by Kala. I'm sorry, make that Abdul Mateen Robinson. Knocked out of bounds, it'll be Raptors ball. All right, this is a big possession here, I feel like. They haven't scored in uh, some time now. Yeah, they need a bucket. Yeah, they do. Uh, kind of forced. Kanari Smith kind of forced that one. He's off the mark. Head to Lance Porter, number 11. He puts it up, no good. Rebound to Chua, and he loses it. Got knocked to the floor. And there's a bucket. Oh, they try the alley-oop. And that was dangerous. It was, it was. Luckily, he didn't fall awkwardly. He gets up, and he'll go to the line. They tried to do the alley oop with uh, Kanari Smith, and boy, that was uh, that was scary. There's a good look at Kanari Smith. They're not calling it a flagrant, borderline. Yeah, that was a, that was a tough foul. Yeah, that was a foul with a message. I mean, he took his legs out from under him. I I think it's questionable that it wasn't flagrant. Anyway, Kanari Smith makes his first. Uh, Canari played last uh, weekend when the Raptors beat Mercer uh, 60 to 51, and Canari made a had a very nice debut. He uh, scored 17 points and had 10 boards. That's a solid double double. Yeah, that's especially a I mean 10 point or 10 rebounds from a like a more of a guard position player. Oh yeah, well. he's a guard. 
He's definitely a guard, but he's got a tremendous, he's got a 40-inch vertical. That's, ooh, wow, which is kind of crazy. Mine might be in the, like, you know, 12 to 15 range. Mine's in the 2 to 3-inch <laughs> range. <laughs> but I haven't tried one in so long, I may not have one anymore. I, I don't know. Well, you know what could probably help? Your uh, vertical. Pickle juice. <laughs> well, you know, pickle juice does solve a lot of issues. It does. And there's Canari Smith. Pickle juice, you know, just, you know how they used to say rub a little Robitussin on it? Oh. Yeah. Now it's pickle juice. Oh. Yeah. How long ago was the Robitussin thing? Oh, that was back, uh, that was an old Chris Rock routine. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's. That's not original. I'm stealing that from Chris Rock. <laughs> and I know that's a very sensitive topic right now in oh, stand-up yeah. comedy. It is, it is. <laughs> Still a seven-point lead for Catonsville. Action is just frenetic. Yeah, the, the gym filled up as well. Good amount of fans watching the game. This is great. Chris, Chris Martin now in the uh, lineup for the Raptors, number zero. And he has the ball. Kanari Smith. Back to Smith. Drives the lane, or the uh, baseline. No good. Block. Yeah, refs letting him play. They are letting him play. They really are letting him play. Sometimes, what I've noticed in, in, in games at this level, when the if the pace is so frenetic, the refs kind of get caught up in it and start calling a lot of fouls. Yeah. But so far, we're not seeing that. Yeah, no, the refs have kept the game, you know, pretty even. The players have been playing pretty straightforward, so let them play, right? The only question, the only question for call I've seen to this point is that uh, the foul when uh, Kanari Smith went in for the uh, alley oop. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. That was uh, that might have been a flagrant, but other than that, I'm loving it. There's a good look at Kanari Smith. Yeah, and he's uh, Smith's been pretty aggressive so far as well. He's going to the line again for a second time, getting to the paint. He's trying to attack the basket. Very good. No, he's an aggressive player. And he's two for two from the line. And he makes it. He's now three for three. Raptors come into the game. Um, they're not a great foul shooting team. They only hit 68%. Both teams three for three from the foul line, and as soon as I said it, that, that's the commentator's curse right there. That is the commentator's curse. I apologize, I apologize to Canari. Acrobatic pass there by Michael Morgan. Ooh. Wow, what a block by Martinez. That was big time. Yeah, that man is electric down low, Martinez. Landon Martinez, six foot nine, transferred here, and uh, came from Florida. And there's an offensive foul on uh, Stallings McCargo. So both teams now with three team fouls. You get to uh, seven fouls and uh, then you're in the bonus. Chris Martin with the ball. Robinson, back to Robinson, over cross court to Smith. Martin drives, puts it up, tough shot. 
That was great. That was great. And they took their time there. They took their time, waited for the best shot, and uh, they found it. Got a good shot. They didn't just throw up a three. There's a long three by Cadenville. Morgan off the mark. Smith with the rebound. Rebo to McKean Robinson off the mark. Grant is fouled. Murray Grant, leading scorer for uh, Catonsville. Their second leading scorer is uh, Joe Nathan Kelly, who we have yet to see. Hmm. Unless I missed him coming in. Number five. And I do believe I did miss him coming in. He's over there by the scorer's table. Oh. On the far side of the court. This is Murray Grant. His first is up and good. Foul was on Smith. That last foul. Murray Grant is third in Maryland Juco from the foul line. 86.7%. That is excellent. And he gets there pretty often as well, so. He made them both. Yep. New player in for the Raptors, number 10, Kevin Neal. And there's a three from the corner by Smith. Raptors have cut the lead or cut the deficit now to six. Porter, Micah Morgan, oh, no call. I like that no call. Yeah. Yeah. It, anything that's basically doing going down low. Uh, Martinez is looking to just block it. Yeah. Yeah. Both these teams uh, are, have excellent shot, shot blockers on the team. Uh, for uh, for Catonsville, Murray Grant uh, averages uh, just over a block a game uh, for the Raptors. Uh, Abraham Abdul Bateen Robinson is second in Maryland Juco with uh, two and a half blocks a game. We're midway through the first half. And a charging call on Catonsville. 32, Isaiah Thomas now in for Catonsville. Catonsville has a very deep bench. They have a deeper bench than the Raptors. And there's wow. Martinez wow. with a, a dunk. And he's going to go to the line. The guy's electric. Landon Martinez cuts the lead to four and a chance to make it a three-point game and a three-point play. Foul was on Grant. And that's his second foul already. And we're only midway through the first half. He had a charge prior to that, and then he comes down to the other end and um, and fouls uh, Martinez. And again, Murray Grant is their leading scorer. Oh, there's an over and back situation. Oh, they, yep. Yeah, apparently the ball was touched by the Raptors. That's what the ref said. Jamal Wise, head coach for the Raptors, did not agree. I'm currently sitting next to a, a former classmate of the Raptors head coach, 
Jamal Wise went to Paint Branch High School, and our statistician, Evan Brown, also went there. Cala. Yeah, they needed that one. Cala, one of the better three-point shooters on the team. Actually leads the team in threes, averaging, uh, hitting 35%. Perry off the mark. Yeah, this is a big opportunity right here for MC to get some more points on the board, cut it from a five points, either a two or a three point game. Yeah, this is uh, this is the closest they've been in a while. Yep. Chachua has been quiet, off the mark. I don't believe Chachua has scored yet. He's, he's scoreless so far, which is unusual. He is the, uh, the Raptors' leading scorer, averaging 19 a game. And our camera operator just got knocked out of his chair. Yeah, that was his second time back to back. And uh, he might be hurting a little bit. Let's hope not. Morgan. Oh, that was a nice Ooh, play. Wow, great block. But a great block by the Raptors. Oh. Uh, Obodi broke up that uh, Raptors fast break. Got his hand in the passing lane. Morgan. That's got to be another charge. It is a charge. Great defensive play by Chachua right there. I'm sorry, that was Joe Nathan Kelly. Yeah, that was good defensive play. Heads up. He saw he saw the play develop, and he had position. I do believe the camera operator's chair might have been damaged by that collision. There's Kelly with an easy bucket off the fast break. Well, I hope he's ready to, you know, stand for the rest of the game. Chachua, double team down low. Yeah, it's been a rough night for him so far. It. Yeah. <laughs> He is off to a very slow start. He's the Raptors' leading scorer at 19 a game. He's also second in rebound at almost 10 a game, 9.8. He's got one board and no points so far. It is his first game back after injury. He missed five games, so that's got to be some of it. Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit rusty. He's trying to find his legs. Uh, but they're going to need him today. Oh, absolutely. This Catonsville team is uh, talented and aggressive and deep. And there's Joe Nathan Kelly. He's the second leading scorer on uh, the team, averaging uh, just over 18 a game. Jaden Rowe 
Double team. There's Tatua. Off the mark. Rowe. Oh, tried to dish it to Abdul Mateen Robinson. But quick hands by Catonsville broke that play up. Looked like it had two written all over it. And we've got a timeout on the floor with 5.38 to go in the first half. And Catonsville on top by nine. Take a look at uh, early stats. Uh, the shooting from the floor is just about even. 42.3 um, for Catonsville, 42.1 for uh, the Raptors. Uh, Catonsville's five for five from the foul line. Yeah, compared to three for five, not too bad from MC. Neither team shooting all that well from three. No. And uh, the rebound battle so far being won by Catonsville, 14 to nine. Um, two steals for Catonsville to none for the Raptors. Catonsville averages 18 steals a game. Wow. They're very active on defense. Yeah. The Raptors only average uh, seven. So that's, that's a big. That's a huge. Yeah, that's a huge big difference. Point. And obviously steals can turn into points, so that gives them more opportunity to get down the court. Yep. And score, so. Yep. Points off turnovers so far. Just three for the Raptors and 11 for Catonsville. So that, that's huge. That's where the, uh, the points are coming from, from yep. them. They are converting their opportunities. Chris Martin from the corner. Nope. And in now is number four, Prince Anderson for Catonsville. Along with number 10, Jonathan Chester. Joe Nathan Kelly still out there. Lance Porter still out there. Shot up and off, rebound Chris Martin. That's got to be a foul. He was sandwiched. Yeah, by three people. <laughs> a triple decker. And I believe we're in the one and one situation with the free throws. Yes. Is that how it works? Yeah. Seventh team foul. So it's after. Foul was on Anderson. Yeah, so it's after, what is it, five or six fouls? Is it one and one and then? After seven. After seven. Yeah, and then the double bonus after 10. So the double bonus means you get two shots regardless. Yep. Uh, the simple bonus situation for or whatever you want to call it, the seven foul situation is a one and one situation. You yep, make the first one and get your second. Yep. And he makes the second. Here comes Dokum. So Sebastian Dokum checks back in. And Christian Martin comes out. So the Raptors, uh, a pretty big lineup out there. This the three, battle for the rebound. And they're gonna call that a jump ball. And it'll stay at the Catonsville end. Dokum landed on the, I mean, that's a lot of weight falling on you. Oh yeah, I would have been, I would have put in my, uh, oh, that, you know, my, that, what is it, uh, not my regulate, what is it, when you're like out for a while from work? Oh yeah, you'd have to get extended medical leave. There it is, the medical yeah. leave, medical leave. Yeah, yeah. FMLA. <laughs> oh yeah. With me, they'd be calling the ambulance. <laughs> oh, I mean, me too. My extended would be at least three years. Anderson. Oh, Chester. Good That's good defense. Now, Chichua with the steal. Nice pass to oh. Abdul Mateen Robinson, but he couldn't convert. They call it a charge on Chichua. Yeah, 
Will off to a slow start. Will Chichula is getting a lot of looks from four-year schools. And he just, uh, he's taking a seat. Again, he has missed the last five games with injury. So he's probably a little rusty. And up and good. That's all bright a Bodhi. He averages 12.2 points a game and 9.2 rebounds. Jaden Rowe with the basketball, drives, puts it up, and they do call a foul on that one. I thought they were going to let that go yeah, for a Yeah, that was a late call, but we'll take it. Raptors will definitely take it. And it is a shooting foul, so that will put Jaden Rowe on the foul line. And here's the replay right here. Good take to the hoop, and yeah, he was definitely fouled. He was. <laughs> And he's looking for his first points of the game. First shot up, and hey. off the mark. Second shot, too strong. These are points MC needs. Yeah. That's why they call them free throws. You, you know, they, they, and it drives coaches crazy. Abode puts it up, kind of threw it up. Dokum with the rebound. And loses control of, knocked out of his hands. That was Kamari Smith had it knocked out of his hands. Good look at Donovan Keyes. Donovan's a 6'1 freshman. He's with the ball. And he has it stolen. Stallings McCargo with the easy bucket off the uh, turnover. There's that turnovers uh, to points uh, yep. again. Oh, he was out. Bro. Abdul Mateen Robinson, good. Great shot. Nice soft touch on that one. Kicks it. Kelly. Drives, dishes. A body had it blocked by Doka. Mateen Robinson uh, off the mark. Kind of forced there, you know? And timeout. Timeout on the floor. Raptors trailing by nine. So three steals so far for, uh, for Cadenceville, as we told you, that's one of their specialties. Interestingly, no assists so far for uh, Catonsville versus six for the Raptors. But points off turnovers, that's the difference in the ball game right there. There it is. 13 points off turnovers for Catonsville to just three for the Raptors. Yeah, I mean. And the Raptors trail by nine. And, uh, Neither team shooting well from three. Catonsville is perfect from the foul line. Yeah, MC's five left points. Five. MC's left points at the line as well. Yeah. I mean, they have a chance to actually be up this game if they, you know, didn't give away so many points off turnovers and then knock some free throws down. They could actually be up. They're losing the – the Raptors are losing the rebound battle as well. Uh, Catonsville – has 18 to 14 for MC. Oh my goodness. They just threw a cheerleader about halfway up to the ceiling. My heart almost dropped. I'll tell you, if I were her mom, 
Wow. Mm. I guess that wouldn't be possible, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to it. Great defense. Good steal there by Chris Martin. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Benito Cala went up for the uh, slam. And he had it blocked, and I think that was clean. I'd love to see another uh, look at that if we get a chance, but with the pace we're playing here, I don't think we have a chance. And they call a foul on that one, which is, he must have grabbed him. Grabbed his forearm, perhaps. Makeup, perhaps. <laughs> Yeah, that, I mean, we'll take it, but it might have been. Let's see the replay. Here here we go. We're going to get a good look at this. Oh, this is the block. Oh, that, that was clean. That was a clean block. That is about as clean as you're going to get, particularly in that type of play. Now the uh, head coach for uh, the Cardinals is uh, working the refs right now, but that usually never works. Oh, he stepped on the uh, out of bounds line. So that's a turnover as uh, Stallings McCargo stepped out. Well, the heel of his shoe stepped out. Calla. Martin. Smith. Puts up a floater, no good. Rebound at Dokum. Excellent there rebound. Is. In traffic. I think we should start to find him down low a bit more. The thing about it is what I'm noticing is he's getting down in the post, right? And he's actually calling for the ball. He's posting up, calling for it. Why not feed him? Exactly. They really don't have anybody that matches up with him physically out there right now anyway. Because he's not only tall, at 6'10", he is powerful. So that's the first uh, points of the night off a turnover for the Raptors. Kala. And we are just about uh, at the end of the first half. Tell you, Kala had a very easy lay, uh, run down that uh, end line there. He did. He probably was surprised himself. I know. It was like they opened up. Uh, the, the waters parted. There's a shot. No good. And that is the end of the first half. So at the end of the first half, the Raptors trailing 35 28 as uh, Catonsville led from the start. We're going to uh, take a quick break. Please enjoy our halftime entertainment. Andre and, I, Andre and I will be right back with the second half after this break. You on my, you on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart, no barge in it. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chop. And then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pals. You can't miss me, we gon' get tips. You don't need a power shot. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. Plastic bars from a copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap and real. No cap and real. Copy my steel. How do you define Montgomery College? That's the wrong question. It's not how it's defined, it's who defines it. This is a turning point. 
It's a moment to look to the future and reify your purpose. MC is defined by those who put in the work. From early mornings to late nights, from the classroom to the workplace, with their family, their teammates, and when no one is watching. When our students declare to the world, I am MC, they stand tall. Backed by a thousand experiences that have shaped them along the way, and alongside those who have walked the path with them. There may have been moments of doubt when you were frayed by too much responsibility. Some of you have changed majors and found new inspiration. Through it, you have found the courage to surmount obstacles. If you are the first in your family to graduate, please stand up and say, I am MC. If you earn a high school diploma and a college degree this spring, if you speak more than one language, if you are older than 50 years old, a military service member, an honor student, if you are a parent or a member of the Montgomery College graduating class, please stand up and say, I am MC. Those who embody our spirit don't just graduate and move on. Rather, they continue to represent us as the designers of change and the leaders that they've been the entire time. We don't just begin to be inspired by them after graduation. It's that in our eyes, they've been inspiring us every step of the way. Employers are looking for licensed physical therapy assistants. MC has a two-year degree program for jobs in this career. And in this area, the average pay is good. Learn more about becoming a physical therapy assistant and how MC can help you get there. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, use you every day. You like my oxygen, make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart, no barge in it. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up. Break you in, then break you out. In the end, we gon' make the chow. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, break you in, then. success starts at Montgomery College. At MC, you can prepare for a rewarding career in these exciting fields. And if your goal is earning a bachelor's degree, starting at MC is a smart choice. MC's award-winning team supports you every step of the way with advising, tutoring, and career preparation to help you make your move. Join the thousands that are getting the education they need to succeed at Montgomery College. From the beginning. That's what I'm talking about.
from the beginning. into reality in the lab with the formula in chemistry the memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake we put the balls in the place i'm talking one one chance at best yes yeah it's one all one shot now the future is yours go I'm Jordan. Um, I am a second year in their early college program. I'm currently majoring in elementary education and special education at the Rockville campus. Hello, my name is Paulo Rivero. I am a second year student at the Montgomery College Early College Biotechnology program. My name is Krushi Savla and I was in the early college program. I completed the nursing program at Montgomery College and I graduated in spring of 2022. I, I found high school to be sometimes a bit challenging. It really depends on what courses you take. I wanted to challenge myself academically more. Um, I've always um, knew that I wanted to have my diploma in something else, like going into high school. So the early college program stuck out to me the most because the degree at the end. The most like fascinating thing about it was it had the career pathway that I wanted to choose regardless. So that really pulled me to it saying, you know, if this is what I want to do for my whole life, then why not start early? When I came on campus, I was like, what did I get myself into? Like, it was like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my MC schedule is I would say is more flexible than high school. You don't have to spend 45 minute periods in one class. In high school, you know, we have seven classes in the day. They're all only 50 minutes. Then you come to college, you don't have all your classes every day. There is a lot of growth in the first two semesters uh, that I've gone through. I think that's something that you would discover. You realize that, oh, going to a professor's office hours is really helpful. It's a, very good tool. I was very nervous as to how I'm going to keep up the pace, but also excited to meet other people that you know are doing the same thing as me, making new friends and just experiencing college. So it's helpful, you know, having that bond where we all kind of stuck together. We all knew what we all were feeling within each other. So it was that sort of empathy that you know we all shared, where we all understood what we all are feeling. I kind of feel like I have a head start because I did two years in college before I did went into a four-year. 
I'm more responsible for myself. And like, I don't have like reminders to like go to class, do your homework. It's like I have to do it. I didn't like how with AP classes, if you don't pass the final exam, you wouldn't get the credit. Um, with the early college program, when I graduate in 2023, next year, I will have more than a credit. I will have a degree, and I feel like that will help me when I apply to a four-year, more than an AP class. Walking across the stage, like, it's surreal, I will say. Even for me, it's like at, you know, 18, 19 years old with an associate's degree, I can step out and get into my career as, like, a dream. Like, you know, it doesn't even feel real sometimes. And it really shows that there is no age limit at what you can do things. I would recommend this program. I feel like it's going to be like really rewarding. Like I get to walk not once, but twice. Um, I have a college degree. I'm going to also have a diploma. It's going to be like a feeling that like, wow, like I did it. It's not that you can't do it. It's what's stopping you from doing it. If you want to do it, I believe you truly can do it because you have more than enough resources to get you through it. So my advice to any new students that are thinking of going to this program is to use your resources to be committed and to persevere through this. Because once you have a, a good attitude towards this, you're unstoppable. Data science is much more broad. Our world is full. In fact, we're saturated with data. We're consumers, we're producers of data. A lot of people are now suddenly aware, maybe because of ChatGPT or any of these artificial intelligence pieces that are all surrounding our lives. And welcome back to the Rockville campus of Montgomery College. Michael Brown alongside my partner, Andre Anderson, and our statistician, Evan Brown. We are getting ready for the second half. Let's take a look at some of the key stats uh, from the first half, Andre. All right, leading scores for Catonsville. Murray Grant with 10. Joe Nathan Kelly with 8. Jamal Lee with seven, and Michael Morgan and Albright Abode with four each. For the Raptors, leading scorer is Kamnari Smith with seven. Uh, Ibrahim Abdul Robinson, six. Benito Cali, five. Kala, five. And Christian Martin and Dokum with four each. So what jumps out at you there, Andre? Uh, a name that you did not mention, Tachua. He has zero points. I mean, that, if you were going to tell me beforehand, you know, Chu is going to have zero points at the half, I would have told you that is impossible. But I guess anything is possible. I think second half needs to be one where he needs to, you know, get the, the ball into the hoop. Well, and uh, Jaden Rowe as well has been held scoreless, and he is uh, he's one of the top scorers on the Raptors. Um, Ibrahim uh, Abdul-Mateen Robinson has six. Uh, he's also one of the leading scorers, but uh, you know when uh, when two of your top scorers have not scored, that is uh, well that it, that helps explain uh, why Cadenceville is ahead. The other big point that you and I were talking about at halftime is the points off turnovers. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirteen points off turnovers for Cadenceville to just five for the Raptors, and that's. That's the difference in the game scoring-wise. Yeah, literally the difference right there. Um, we are underway. Let me set the lineups, uh, if I can, for both teams. Uh, on the court right now uh, for the Raptor, or for uh, Canesville, number two, Jamal Lee, number three, Murray Grant, number 23, Michael Morgan, 24, Albright Abode. And number 35, Andre Stallings McCargo. For the Raptors, number four, Jalen Rowe. Number five, Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson. 
number th uh, 13, Donovan Keyes, number 22, Will Chichua, and number 42, Sebastian Doko. The other thing uh, we noticed a lot in the first half is that uh, Catonsville went deep into their bench. They did. Did a lot of substituting. And they play at a, well, both teams play at a very intense uh, pace. Uh, the Raptors didn't use their bench quite as much. And the Raptors get the first bucket of the second half with Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson. That's a good start for the Raptors. They cut the lead to three. And there's a foul. Foul is on Donovan Keyes, and that'll put number two, Jamal Lee, on the foul line. Lee is a uh, sophomore guard out of Christo Jesuit. The basket is good. Foul shot is good. So, Canesville uh, stays perfect from the foul line. Keys drops one. Raptors down by two. Very good start to the half of the Raptors. Excellent start. Lee with the shot off the mark, no good. And uh, Cadenceville retains possession. Murray Grant with the basketball. He drives, puts it up, no good. Out of bounds. Just a two point game at this point, so. We expected a very intense, close second half. We do. I don't see any reason why we we won't get that. Ooh, look at this press by Cadenceville. This is the first we've seen this. And they almost got the steal in the backcourt. Keys. Cadenceville is excellent. They, they are uh, one of the top teams in Maryland Juco with, in steals. They average uh, 18, over 18 steals a game. This has been a physical game, but not a lot of fouls okay. called. No, no, refs letting them play. I mean, and it's been physical, but it's been like the clean type of physical, you know yeah. what I mean? Players yeah. aren't doing anything outside of what they should be when it comes to trying to steal the ball and things like that. So it's been clean. Yeah. I mean, we had one play in the first half that uh, – Looked like it could have gone as a, a possible flagrant. But other than that, meanwhile, <laughs> the ref is like, uh, you guys are just pushing a little too much here. Calm down. But that's good. I like seeing a ref do that. Yeah. Just let them know. Don't call a foul. Yeah. Just let them know and then let them play. Listen, guys, I'm not blind. I see what's going on. <laughs> There's a Bodie, he loses it, but they still get the shot off. Doko battles for the rebound. What? I'm not sure what the call was. Wait. Yeah, he called a travel, but I don't get that one. He was down, but he didn't really have possession. Wow, okay. That was a strange call. We'll say that. Shot is up, no good. And the Raptors lose it. Three is off the mark, Dokum battles. And it's gonna stay at the uh, Catonsville end. Very physical under the board. It is. They are definitely letting them play. Abodi and Dokum are really going at it. Two very physical players. Lee, Morgan, Grant, 
And nice shot by Grant. Yeah, that's a good, good, little, good little fake he did right there. He's still back up by four. There's a foul. And that foul is going to be on Grant. Not a shooting foul. Again, seven team fouls, and you get uh, one and one. Ten fouls, you go into the double bonus. That's the third foul on Grant. Yeah, so he has to be careful here. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not a player they want to lose. He's no. their leading scorer. I saw him signaling to the to his coach saying, you know, I'm gonna play it smart. Hold the ball, hold the ball. Keys. Foul. Oh, he's fouled. Foul is gonna be on number 23, Michael Morgan. That's just uh, his first, second, second personal. Neither team is in particular foul trouble. Murray Grant has three and Morgan two. That would be the greatest concern for Badensville. For the Raptors, only uh, Will Chichul with two fouls. Nobody else uh, with more than one. Again, a lot of that is because they they really let them play basketball in the in the first half. Yeah. It was a, it was a very smooth half. Keys makes foul shot. It's a two point game. Lee. Wow, great pass. excellent pass. I'm sorry, Murray Murray Grant with the pass to a Bodie. Dokum is now on the bench for the Raptors, and uh, Landon Martinez is in. Martinez gave the Raptors some good minutes in the first half. Here's Grant. There's the perfect dish yeah, to was, a Bodie. That was great. Yeah. Statistician points out uh, the fact that as soon as Dokum went to the bench, uh, the Cardinals got a dunk. There's a tie up. It'll be Raptors basketball. Substitution for the Raptors. Donovan Keyes checks out and checking in is Muhammad Abdul Mateen Robinson. So the brother of Ibrahim. And Muhammad is coming back uh, from a knee injury. Uh, he missed the whole first half of the season. There's a steal by Grant and an easy two. Another steal. will inbound from under their basket. Six point game. Inbounds. Uh, Abdul Mateen Robinson and Ibrahim makes it. Ibrahim. We have both Ibrahim and Muhammad out there, the uh, Abdul Mateen brothers. We want to give a shout out to our uh, Excellent crew here tonight, uh, doing a great job uh, covering uh, both ends of the uh, doubleheader here. Really, really great job by, I'll tell you, a crew that is about half students, Andre. Yeah. And of course, that's one of the things that uh, Montgomery College Television does so well is train, give practical training that uh, turns into uh, professional jobs yeah. in, the, in the field. 
Yeah, I would say their hands-on experience is what a lot of the uh, a lot of the interns, a lot of the students say that they really appreciate and they love. You know, because at a lot of places you might get training, but that might not equate to you actually getting hands-on with like the equipment and the cameras and being as close as they are with a lot of the uh, uh, of the uh, people you work with. But here at MCTV, they get all the experience, and they actually you're. Looking at the baseline, actually, they're shooting the, yeah, uh, we the have game. Our, our two baseline camera operators are both students. Um, we have students in the truck. Um, we have former students here who are in the industry uh, as professionals. And the great thing is they don't just get cable pulling jobs yep. when they're here. They learn how to operate everything. And uh, it's a great training ground, the Montgomery at uh, MCTV. So the Raptors have tied it up while we were uh, uh, giving our students and the program a well-deserved uh, tip of the hat. The <laughs> Raptors have tied it at 42. So nice little comeback. It is anybody's basketball game. Good look at the crowd. We've got a nice crowd here considering that classes have not started. People love their MC basketball. They do. It's exciting stuff. So the Raptors uh, have suddenly started picking up some points off turnovers. And uh, as a matter of fact, the last two that uh, tied this up was off a turnover. Jaden Rowe is called for a foul. And uh, TJ Perlo has not stopped working the refs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he seems to be in constant conversation. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Oh yeah. He played at Catonsville, uh, TJ did. Um, and then he was uh, head coach at uh, CC at Baltimore City uh, Community College before getting the job at his alma mater, uh, Catonsville. That's cool. That's really cool. That's great. Full circle. Yeah, and I read his bio, and he's very grateful for everything he learned at uh, Catonsville, at uh, Baltimore City. Uh, seems like a very nice young man doing a good job at uh, Catonsville. And he makes a foul shot. So Cadenceville back up by two. Row. There's Chris Mark. I'm sorry, that's uh, Kanari Smith. Nice looking shot. Shot up and good by Isaiah Thomas, who's now in for Cadenceville. Also in number 15, Daquan Green. Shot up, no good. Rebound to Martinez. Out to uh, Abdul Mateen Robinson. He drives and he's tied up. He's tied up, and that'll be Catonsville ball. Good look there at Isaiah Thomas, number 32. Freshman out of Manchester High School. As a great look at uh, Jamal Wise, the Raptors head coach. Jamal is a basketball legend in this uh, in this area. When he played at Paint Branch, he was the Gatorade Player of the Year for the state of Maryland. Went on to uh, a very successful career at uh, the University of Rhode Island and played in Europe. Got an excellent staff with Elliot Headley, Ted Green, and Junior Blackman. So 
Paola Martinez. And Mohamed uh, Abdul Mateen Robinson checks out for the Raptors. Chris Martin in for the Raptors. Good rebound. Wow. There's that vertical leap we were talking about oh, with yeah. uh, Smith. Man, did he get up there. Oh, that would have been nifty if he had. There's uh, Foul. Martinez, but he has Foul. it blocked by a Bodie. Martinez has been active uh, getting those offensive rebounds. That's his third and actually oh. the last just two possessions. Two in the last possession. And uh, Kanari Smith now with 11 points for the Raptors. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. Yep. Martinez with two points makes the uh, first foul shot. Cuts the lead to one. It is truly anybody's ball game. We're about midway through the first half. Martinez is one for two tonight from the foul line. Let's see if he can make it two for three. I gotta say, he's got some very spiffy sneakers on. What color would you say that is? You know, I was, I've was i been trying to figure that out. I believe you said earlier salmon. Hey, I'm just throwing it out there. That's what I was thinking. What do you, what do you think? Well, you know, I think maybe Kanari Smith has, has salmon. Those okay. are Sam. I'm not sure about. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a little thought here. <laughs> but they are colorful. Smith to row from the corner. No good. Good offensive rebound by Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. Boy, he had great position. Very good. Rowe has yet to score, and that is a factor for the Raptors. He's averaging 10.3 a game. But here is a very big possession for the Raptors as they could take the lead, which I don't think they have done in a while. Uh, no, they have not. They have not led the entire game. There we go. Meanwhile, and it, meanwhile, Considering that the rap two of the top scorers for the Raptors have been held scoreless, this is actually an encouraging sign, I think. Leading scorer for the Raptors is uh, Ibrahim Abdul Fatin Robinson. He's got uh, 16, and Kamari, Kamari Smith with 11. So the Raptors get their first lead of the game. With 12.19 yeah. to go. Getting a little chippy out there. We gotta watch it. We don't wanna we don't want any problems. Calm down guys. Play basketball. And there's a steal by Smith to Martinez. And then Chris Martin runs into number 35, Stallings McCargo. And I'm not sure that McCargo, uh, Stallings McCargo was set. No, here's the replay and no, he, he just he, ran into his way in his yeah, path. No, he was not set. <laughs> Thank you. That was a great replay. Very timely. <laughs> There's a foul. And that'll put Lance Porter on the foul line. And he'll be, uh, well, it's a shooting foul, but the Raptors now have 17 fouls, so. Uh, Every foul from from now on is one and one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cadenceville is now nine of ten from the foul line. Of course, they've had uh, 
So they're, they are shooting very well from the foul line. The Raptors are 9 of 14. Makes them both. All tied up. All tied up at 50. And a press by Catonsville. There's Smith with a floater, no good. Excellent rebound by Abdul Mateen Robinson. Three ball. Shua oh. off the mark again. Abdul Mateen Robinson with another great rebound, but he throws it away. Doing some, doing some yeoman-like work under the boards there. Good block. Oh! Kanari Smith with a beautiful dunk. Wow. That man jumps out the gym. He he's he deserves to smile. Oh, he's, he got a, he's got a grin on his face. He is a great player. He, he loved that one. There's a block, smile. but they lose it. It is really getting physical out there. Tie up on the floor. No possession, no possession. Let's see, it's got to be a jump ball, and it'll be Raptors ball. You gotta watch out in a situation like this that uh, things don't get uh, physical. Dry off that floor. These guys are working hard out here. Oh, yeah. What a dunk by Canary uh, Smith. You know, the old line from the circus, he flew through the air with the greatest of ease. <laughs> That daring young man on the flying trapeze. Look at you. <laughs> oh, man. So timeout on the floor. And uh, we've got, we got a barn burner here, buddy. But I, I tell you, some couple of things really jump out at me. And uh, number one is, uh, Jaden Rowe and Will Chichu are scoreless, but the Raptors are on top. Hey, I mean, if you're, you know, one of your best players uh, hasn't even scored and, and you're winning the game, that's saying something about the whole team as a collective, you know? It's not a one-man show. Exactly. It's showing that the team together can play really well. And I think it shows that they are much deeper than when we saw them earlier in the year. 100%. They were only going six, seven deep. Yep. They had to play several games in the first half of the season with just seven players. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, they're really sharing the burden. There's Smith, jumper off the mark, no good. But again, I'm amazed at how high he got up just for that jumper. Oh, yeah. Shot from the corner for three, no good. Abdul Mateen Robinson with a rebound. He's going to take it down to Smith. Off the mark, no good. Rebound to Stallings McCargo. Shot is up and good by Lance Porter. So we're to back tied again. Smith. Up, oh, no good. Mateen Robinson with the rebound. Boy, he is having a night on the boards. Now there's 10 rebounds for Abdul Mateen Robinson, 16 points. So he's got a double double. Solid game. Really played well. He's, I tell you, he's not. A huge guy, but he is he's really banging around under the boards there. He's six six, but he's slight. He's not he's not that uh, muscular. Not that yeah, big. I was gonna say to me, six six is uh, I guess that's oh, like that's a giant. A, yeah, that's a giant. <laughs> <laughs> to you and I. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Neal in now for the Raptors. Third foul on Lee for um, the Cardinals. Tachua finally gets his first basket. That takes the uh, the burden off the shoulders. Let's see if he can uh, open up a little bit here. Wow. 
Man, that was a tough shot by Joe Nathan Kelly. A nice floater. Wow. In traffic, in the lane. He's got 12 points. Well, he's their second leading scorer. He's averaging 18 a game. There's Chichua again. There he goes again. Two quick buckets for Will Chichua. Yeah, it's important that he's doing this. I mean, at some point, we needed him to get points in. Yeah. It's the most important time. It's crunch time. Yep. Yep. And it is indeed that. And there's a charge. Wait a minute. No. Oh, blocking foul. Blocking foul. I was looking at the Raptors, who all thought it was charge. <laughs> yeah. Which I would not think, surprising. Yeah, I would think they would think that. <laughs> no surprise on that one. And that'll put Murray Grant on the foul line. Okay. I'm sorry, Kelly, Joe Nathan Kelly. He's two for two from the line. Oh, missed it. There's Neal. Foul. Foul is on Lance Porter. They're starting to call a few more fouls now. They are. That was uh, that would not have been called in the first half, I don't think. Oh, not at all. <laughs> no, they let everything go. So that puts uh, Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson on the line. And check checking in for the Raptors, number 20. Thomas uh, Lockery. This is his, and this is uh, Mateen Robinson's first trip to the line. He sinks it. Had an excellent game tonight for the Raptors. And I'm really glad to see his brother get some playing time. They're going to have to work him in slowly because, like we said, he's coming back from a, a bad, a bad knee injury. All the way, Murray Grant just took it all the way and made a, a beautiful uh, layup. But the Raptors still up by one. Here's Chichua, he lost his footing. Battle for the ball. The Cardinals have it, but the Raptors get it right back as Kevin Neal got his hand in there. There oh. we go. Beautiful feed to Chichua. And Chichua is really... Uh, Come alive here. We've got six points, I believe, now. And it was a great assist from Abdul Mateen Robinson. Abraham. Hey. Here comes Neil. Three ball. Kicks it. Three ball. Oh. No, no good. Callow. Chichu with the rebound. He gets knocked around. Lockery. Raptors all of a sudden up by five. Yeah. Looking good. Can I get another stop? Ooh. Almost a steal by Callum. Watch the hands of Kevin Neal. We were told he has an amazingly quick hand. Ooh. Foul is on Kala. He doesn't agree. I'm shocked. Hey, well. <laughs> <laughs> and that puts Jamal Lee on the foul line. That's the first foul on Kala. Good luck at Jamal Wise there. Lee is two for three from the foul line. Raptors up by four, 6.59 to go. Check one is up, no good. Lockery runs it down. 
Head to Chachua. Change of direction, he's fouled. Fouls are starting to get called now. Put on a nice little Eurostep move there to, uh, to get free, but he was fouled, which of course caused him to miss the shot. Is up and good. Raptors are in the one and one now, as that's the uh, eighth team foul for um, uh, CCBC. Raptors have nine team fouls, so one more, and uh, the Cardinals will be in the one and one. Second is up and good. So Tachua. Two for two from the line now, and he's up to eight points. Eight points, yep. And Time it's out. happened in a very short period of time. Timeout on the floor. And we get a good look at the uh, Catonsville bench. So timeout on the floor, and boy, this this last uh, little bit is going to be great. It is. Raptors all of a sudden winning the battle on the boards, 34-26. Which is really good. And what I also like is that they've really improved their field goal percentage. They're almost at 50% in this second, or in total, but most of that has come in this second half. Yeah, they're not. They don't have it from three tonight, but from the field. They're almost at 50%. Meanwhile, Cadenceville has fallen off a bit, and they're down to 36% from the field. Um, and the Raptors are doing better at the line. They actually have more points from the line, 12 to 11, even though Cadenceville's got a little better percentage. And one of our favorite, uh, look at this. Points off turnovers, still in favor of Cadenceville. Push it up there, no good. And where's it going? Looks like it's Raptors ball. It's Kevin Neal with the basketball. Steal. There is uh, Kelly, puts it up and in. That was a difficult shot. That was a very, <laughs> that's like a 9.9 .9 on the uh, degree yeah. of difficulty scale. Yeah. He's he's six of uh, 16 tonight from the field for 14 points. Battle for the ball. Tachua drives on a Bodhi. And what? they're gonna call a charge on Tachua. And that was pretty ticky, Jack. He did, if he, he did extend his arm, and that is uh, that's the reason for the call. Meanwhile, he and Abodi are having quite a conversation there in the uh, in the paint at the other end. And I'm sure they're not asking uh, what they're having to eat after uh, the game. <laughs> But I wouldn't be surprised, though, if they're hungry. I wouldn't be. They're, they're running up and down the court. Because I know I'm hungry. Oh, I've been I've been thinking about that for the last five minutes. Buddy. And there were there were no Granny Smiths on the menu tonight. No. But they were, there was some pickle juice earlier. That's true. All right, well. Filled up on some pickle juice. Hopefully that helps Could be why you keep sliding away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame you. <laughs> it was Vlasic. <laughs> Stalling the cargo. Oh, there's a steal. Oh, Smith couldn't find it. And he's out of bounds. Smith made a beautiful steal, but the ball went way up in the air, and he just couldn't find it. 
because he was running. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, uh, the CCBC player stepped out of bounds. Let me get the ball right back. Doing a little uniform adjustment there. Good look at uh, Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. Neal with the basketball. Almost had it taken away. There's Chachua. Not good off the back of the rim. Stayed out the Raptors in. Five minutes to go in the ball game. Raptors up by four. Raptors trailed by seven at the half. Yeah, they played much better this half. They, they really have. Yeah, the lead has been uh, cut a little. They were up by a little more than four earlier, but they'll take this compared to how they were playing earlier. Smith loses it. Boy, is there a collision at midcourt. I'm not really sure what happened there. Yeah, there Smith was a, a foul. Okay, foul on Smith. Yeah, yeah. it's almost like a low football tackle. Yeah. <laughs> He was just trying to prevent him from getting the ball. Makes sense. <laughs> just wrong sport. Good look at Jamal Lee. Chris Martin checks back in. Also checking in is number 32, Isaiah Thomas, for the Cardinals. Jamal Lee at the line. He's two for four, but he makes that one. Cuts the Raptors lead to three. Neal. Michael Morgan was riding his back up the court. On him like uh, flypaper. Wow. Wow. What a basket. That was a great basket by uh, Kevin Neal. He's one of the... Uh, New additions to the Raptors uh, roster. That was Neil's first bucket of the game. He's had a couple of steals though. Ooh. In and out, Chachua with the rebound. Gets it up floor to the, here comes the Wow. What an alley-oop dunk. Wow. 15 points for Smith. Man. But yeah. I tell you, you don't want to overlook that pass from Abdul Mateen Robinson. It was beautiful. It was. Perfectly timed. Perfect height, trajectory, and timing. That's his third assist for a guy that plays on the block. That shows his versatility and his unselfishness. Because he could have taken that shot. But boy. Yeah, he's got 17, Abdul Mateen Robinson, 17 points, 11 rebounds, three assists. It's Very a nice, good. nice work. Oh, yeah. And he's not done. Meanwhile, Kanari Smith is, is, boy, he has turned this crowd on in this arena tonight. He has. He is an electric player. Man, what a pickup for the Raptors. He's a highlight reel. Oh, yeah. And, boy, look at it. Bodies all over the place. Michael Morgan went in there. Uh, 
Martinez altered the trajectory. Yeah, our statistician, Evan Brown, just pointed out that uh, uh, Catonsville has now dropped to 12 of 18 from the foul line. It wasn't too long ago, they were perfect. Yeah. And they made that one. And Lee has been to the line a lot. He's four of seven from the line. This is a crucial one right here. Could cut it back to five. Yeah. Yeah, right now it's a two possession game. Well, it'll be a two possession game regardless, but he missed it. Raptors uh, will take that. Here's Neal. Smith. Ah, oh, stolen. And Joe Nathan Kelly with a nice bucket. Avoid that block. He's got 16 points. Almost, almost to his uh, season average. He's, he averages 18.1 a game. So we are not done bringing you Montgomery College basketball for the season. We've got another doubleheader coming up on uh, the 7th of February when the Raptors will welcome in uh, Chesapeake, the Skip Jacks. Uh, they have had excellent basketball teams over the last few years. And as a matter of fact, their men's team won Maryland Juco last year. So, and the Regents. So uh, that'll be a tough contest for the Raptors. But from what we've seen tonight, they'll be up to the uh, task. Oh yeah. They got a lot of good players that um, are seeming, they're ready to step up. I mean, there's players that were starting all season long. There's players that are just entering the team. <laughs> This is going to make me some new players starting uh, relatively soon. So, again, that's coming up on uh, February the 7th. And we're looking forward to that. And I know the players love it. Players uh, really enjoy uh, And it's important to their future. You know, if they want to play at another level, uh, getting game film from an MC TV game oh, yeah. to show to scouts, very helpful. There's three minutes on the clock now, and it's a four-point game, so every possession from this point on is vital for both teams. Raptors really want a bucket here. Martin puts it up. up oh! What a follow. Wow. Right at the buzzer. What a follow for Landon Martinez. Here's the replay. Ooh. Wow. Great shot, too, by our uh, excellent camera crew. So, what a great play and what a great shot by the MCTV camera crew. Boy, that was amazing. I could watch that about 20 times. <laughs> we, need, we need to put that on uh, Instagram and TikTok. And, oh, yeah. We have know. a couple uh, really good dunks today. Excellent. That, that alley-oop to Smith. Yeah, that was nice. That's six points for Martinez. There's a bucket. Now, uh, the Cardinals with the full court pressure. Just over two minutes to go in the ball game. Every possession counts. Smith. Martin. Dean Robinson, he's tripped, but no call. Yeah, it looked like a foul to me. And Kelly missed. Ahead to Martinez. He pulls his way in, but it won't it won't fall for him. Steps on the line. Step on the line. We've seen that call two or three times tonight. There's gonna be a timeout. Raptors call the timeout. Minute 43 to go. Raptors up by 
four. Looking at the uh, foul situation, uh, CCBC is now in a double bonus situation. So every time they go to the line, they'll be shooting two. The Raptors, on the other hand, are in, they're in the bonus, but it'd be a one and one situation on non-shooting fouls. So that's, that's a key thing. Uh, foul shots are really going to be important here coming down to uh, to the wire. Good look at the uh, Catonsville bench and a good look at uh, the Raptors bench. It's a really good shot. As uh, Coach Jamal Wise is coaching them up. As oh, we yeah. Say. There's a good look at the Raptors cheer team. They add so much to the atmosphere. It's, it's great, great to see it. And again, this crowd is really into this game. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a close game. A lot of, uh, you know, high flying plays, great defense. This is a game you want to see yeah. on a Wednesday night. Exactly. They get it in. Raptors looking for a good shot. Chachua. Oh, he tried to get it inside to uh, Martinez. Good save there. Oh, they ran out of time. All right, it's time for a defensive stop. Yeah, this is a, this is a very important possession here. Minute 21 to go. Uh, they're doing the rolling the ball thing. I'm not sure what they gained by that. I think the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah right. It doesn't I start. Know, but they a... made, they made no progress <laughs> on the court. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> Kachua. The rebound. What they call? Timeout. 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 So the Raptors call a timeout to avoid Catonsville getting possession on that jump ball. Because the arrow is in Catonsville's favor right now, the possession arrow. You know, I'm looking at Jaden Rowe over on the bench, and was his leg wrapped that much at the beginning of the game? Uh, I don't think so. And he was not walking very well. So I'm wondering if that, uh, if he if he suffered an injury that we we somehow missed, which wouldn't be surprising given uh, how frenetic the game has been. Yeah, it's, it's high intensity game. Yeah, but I don't recall him having that much of a wrap on and I mean I could be wrong I hope I am oh, Chachua inbounding it full court pressure by the Cardinals of course we're down to a minute Oh, they misread each other on that. They did. Yep. All right. Every defensive stop here is crucial. 18 turnovers for the Raptors. That's a big factor. And that was that was a, not a well-timed one. Boy, did he carry that ball and not get called. I mean, he put it behind his back. It was right in front of us. And I don't want to be, I don't want to point anybody out, but the referee was right there too. <laughs> he may not have been looking at him, but oh my gosh, that was quite the carry. <laughs> that was an NBA carry. <laughs> There's plenty of those in the NBA. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. We're going to get a look at it here. 
All right, here we go. That was hard to see, but he carried it. <laughs> but of course, fifth. All right, so two point game, under a minute to go. And it will be Raptors ball. 48 seconds to go. The Raptors will inbound. Catonsville with full court pressure. And there's a foul over the back. You got to call that. Yeah, you have to. That's the second foul. That's uh, Joe Nathan Kelly. And he's got 16 points on the night, however. And that'll put Donovan Keyes on the foul line. He's two for two on the night from the line. And every foul shot is critical. And he missed it. That is now 19 fouls on uh, Cadensville. Raptors 12 for 19 from the foul line. Oh. And they get the tip in. Kelly with the tip in. We're all tied up with 32 seconds to go. And the Raptors call timeout. Twenty-seven point four seconds to go. The Cardinals are in the double bonus. The Raptors still in the one and one situation. One more team foul on. Catonsville and the Raptors will be in the double bonus. So the uh, the Catonsville press has really caused the Raptors some uh, some trouble. It has, it has. I mean, they tied the game back up virtually just off of the press and sealing the ball and getting quick layups. So uh, it also hasn't helped that MC has missed some free throws right. uh, recently. But, so, but but yeah, the uh, the Cardinals press has been effective. It has. Eight and 18 turnovers for the Raptors. That's that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that that really sticks out. It does. That really sticks out. So, uh, oh, look at that. Who is that on the screen? Ah, that is uh, Evan Brown and Andre Anderson and in the middle, their dad. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe their grandpa. And there we see Talia Kunkar's mother. She's a big basketball fan. As well she should be. Her daughter's an excellent player. Had a, had a great game in the first game of the doubleheader. That's a bad steal. And what's the call? Timeout was called. Out, out of bounds. A couple of substitutions. Will Chichua's in, in for the Raptors is uh, Elena Martinez. Eighteen seconds to go in the ball game. Timeout on the floor. Eight 
18 seconds to go. And they're saying the Raptors kicked the ball. So we are uh, we are at crunch time. I know it's a cliche, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a good shot of some of the fans here tonight. They've had a enjoyed a, a real fun doubleheader. Raptors women took the opener 58-49. And we are knotted at 69 here with 18.6 seconds to go. It has been a very entertaining game. Which is frankly a fair amount of time. There's a lot that can oh, happen. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially if there's fouls and things like that where yeah. people are going to the free throw line. So, Catonsville has the basketball. They'll be inbounding in front of their bench. And Morgan, I'm sorry, that's uh, Kelly inbounding it. Boy, they almost had a backcourt violation there. Oh, oh. And they now they do. Turnover. Yep. Raptors pressure put on there by Chris Martin. And that forced the turnover. Another timeout. Another timeout on the floor. 12 seconds to go. The Raptors with the basketball. And they will be inbounding on their end of the court. So you couldn't ask, you know, in a tie game, this is a pretty good situation for the Raptors. It is, it is. They've got ample amount of time to, to get a, a good shot, but Catonsville's defense has really stepped it up a notch here in the last couple of minutes. That's how they got back uh, uh, into a tie. Uh, particularly Michael Morgan for them has really been defending. And he's forced a couple of turnovers. Do you go for the the three-pointer here or the two-pointer? What are you doing? Man, I I think I, I just think you gotta get you want a good shot. Yeah, whatever the good shot is. Now the Raptors have not shot well from three tonight. That's true. Not at all. So they have only uh, made one out of ten. And if math is if my math is correct, that's ten percent. It's correct. You did, you did well in school. <laughs> I still got it, man. <laughs> nice. The, the old ticker is still working. <laughs> so here we go. Chris Martin inbounding it. Bob Dillman, Team Robinson. Or I'm sorry, Ib Ibrahim. There's the shot. No good. Smith battles, and we're going to overtime. We are going to overtime as the Raptors did not get off a good shot. So <laughs> here we go. We got a. Uh, we got some more. Who doesn't love extra time of basketball, you know? There you go. Free basketball, as they used to call it. Free baseball, if it's extra innings, free basketball. But what if the, uh, you know, our, our games are free, so it's, is it free, free this, basketball? This is like doubly free. There you go. Yeah. Uh, There's nothing better than that. The Raptors just didn't get a, just didn't get a good shot off. And... Uh, you know, Chichua made that pass inside. I'm wondering now, well, you know, hindsight is always 20-20. Yeah. You know, should should he have shot it? He was open. He was. But oh. he's an unselfish player. He was going for a higher percentage shot, which is why he fed the ball inside. But, you know, uh, they have been tough inside all night. They have. They have, especially for not having that much size on their team no. as well. 
They have defended very well in the paint. Yeah, they, uh, Catesville has 30 points in the paint tonight. Raptors have 34. But the Raptors definitely have the height of them. They do. And Catonsville takes the, a quick lead here. Overtime is five minutes. The foul situation stays the same. And timeout for the Raptors. So back to the bench they go. Raptors uh, isn't it, uh, a nice stat. The Raptors have scored 36 points from their bench players tonight. Wow. So more than half their points are, are from players off the bench. 26 for B, uh, for uh, Cadenceville. Yeah, the um, a lot of the starters for for MC haven't been on their game today. So the bench has to kind of you know step up in that aspect. Yep, yep, and that's the beauty of having some depth is that you've got some guys that you can go to who can. Uh, score so Kanari Smith will inbound for the Raptors and we're back in action Kala to Martin inside to Ibrahim Abdul-Mateen Robinson oh my gosh Martin got mugged in the corner Three free throws coming up. So he'll have three freebies. And that foul was on Murray Grant, and I don't think there's any question about it. I'm, I'm, that's four, four fouls on Grant as well. I don't understand how he could even object to that. Frankly. Yeah, that was like straight I mean, it foul. Was, it was pure contact. And Martin misses the first. He's two or three from the line tonight. Uh, maybe more importantly, that's the 10th team foul on uh, Catonsville, which means the Raptors will shoot two every time they go to the line from this point on. Unless, of course, they get fouled shooting a three, like they just did. So Martin makes a second. Let's see if he can tie it up. up and no good. Tachua gets a rebound though. Big rebound. Gets it out to Abdul Mateen Robinson who scores. So they got three points out of that. Huge rebound by uh, Tachua. Yeah, three points out of that possession instead of the two. So that's actually really crucial. Yeah. Because now they're up by one. Right. And there's a steal. Up. It's lost. Up. Picked up by the Cardinals. Another steal by Kala. And he stepped on the line. That was some crazy action there. Oh, yeah. We were almost a part of the action. <laughs> I tell you, Calla wanted to join us at the booth. So Stallings uh, McCargo will uh, inbound for the Cardinals. Here they come. Raptors not pressing. Raptors not pressing. Oh, Grant. Oh. And that, I'm not sure about that one, but he probably got him on the hand. Grant 
Wright makes the first. Ties it at 72. And he is not missed from the line tonight. Does that one, makes He's that one. Definitely coach's best friend when it oh, comes yeah. from uh, free throws. Uh, coaches love that. Make those free. Smith. Gets a little jump hook up. Doesn't go. Oh. oh. And uh, Martinez just missed the follow. Good block. A block. Another oh. block. What? What? There's a foul. Foul is on Ibrahim Abdul Mateen Robinson. And Abodi will be shooting two. Makes the first. Put Catesville uh, <laughs> up by one. Oh, I'm sorry, two. The scoreboard was a little late. Boy, does he have an arc on that foul shot. Oh, yeah. Missed the second one. Now a little pressure here from Chachua with a beautiful move. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's about all you can say about that one. That was a thing of beauty. Here oh, up. yeah. Look at the cross. Oh, into the crossover, but still. Oh, Euro my steps gosh. Are the... Beautiful. Wow. In traffic. You knew you were going to get butt bang. You just knew it. Oh, come on. And blocking foul on Martinez. Down on the baseline. That's his third. And that'll put uh, Abodi back on the line where he'll be shooting two. He's one for four from the line. The thing is about these free throws, when you get to the, the uh, you know the two free throw shots at this point, the game basically comes down to this. Yeah. Because it's going to be so many fouls and players are going to go to the line so much that if you can knock them down, you're just going to continue to increase the lead. If you're going to see there's two right there. Yeah, he missed both of them. Chachua is starting to play like the Chachua we know. Very quiet early, but he has really come on in the second half. Like a team leader would. Oh, there's a steal. There's that. And that is, they call it a block. He was inside the circle. He was inside that semi-circle down there uh, inside the lane. So that's got to be a foul on, uh, and that is his fifth. And I'm, I'm hoping he's okay because he is walking off rather gingerly. Will Chachua. Yeah, I think he he's took quite right. a hit though. Well, he got one of those archers to go in. Albright Abode. He's two of seven from the line. Make that two of eight. Oh, that's wow. a bad turnover. And Martinez knows that he takes full accountability, but that's a tough turnover at a tough spot. So Cadenceville retains possession. Oh, there great we go. steal there by Kala. Off there the inbound. That was a great steal. Way to win it back. Really, really was. You don't see that very often. That is a big turnover. Oh, Mark oh. lost possession. 
Minute 38 to go. Ball hit his leg and he lost control. From the corner, off, no good. Martin with the rebound. He'll push it. Three ball. Number three, off oh, the iron, no yeah. good. Rebound to Cadensville. Lee, no good. Rebound, Abdul Mateen Robinson, and he's holding his cap. One minute to go. One point game. Raptors with possession. Smith, up, no good. Rebound, Chris Martin. Puts it up, no good. Partially blocked. And I think we've got another uh, cramp situation. Where's the pickle juice? <laughs> Calling for the pickle juice dispenser. I tell you, they they could have made a fortune if they sold pickle juice here tonight. Oh man, marketing idea. Yeah, we, we do really well at uh you know promoting these uh these different type of uh, things. So as we uh, take a quick look at some of the stats, the Raptors have definitely improved their shooting. They're uh, now at 44% versus 36 for Catonsville. Uh, Raptors have basically caught them at the foul line. But look uh, at the look at the three-point shooting today for both teams. Yeah, neither team is shooting worth a darn from three. And uh, but points off turnovers. Wow, what a difference! 29 for Catonsville to just seven for the Raptors. Wow. So basically, they haven't been capitalizing on any, or not, obviously they have seven, but on a lot of their turnovers on uh, Catonsville, they haven't capitalized. No, and the Raptors with 23 turnovers to 11 for Catonsville. And that, that's tough to win with that many turnovers. It really is. The Raptors do have an edge on bench points, 37-26. But the turnovers are really hurting them right now. And you can't afford turnovers in this type of situation. It's just two, 30 seconds to go in the ball game. This is a key possession, a vital possession, and a vital defensive uh, situation for the Raptors. 17 seconds. They don't have to shoot. There's only one second on the top, the clock. And that's a violation. There we go. That, that is a turnover. That is a turnover. And the Raptors have the ball with 12 seconds to go. They trail by one point. And they don't have a lot of time. Here they go, here's Smith. Down the lane. It's knocked away. That is the ball game. That is the ball game. As it comes right down to the last second. And Catonsville pulls it out. 77-74 in overtime. What a tough loss for the Raptors. Yeah, that, it was kind of just, it happened so quickly, you know, like, they had the opportunity, maybe a better shot opportunity would have been something they could have looked for, but they they, they fought hard today. I mean, Smith took it down the lane, and uh, a lot of good things have happened in those situations. Uh, so, you know, I don't, I don't fault him for what he did there at all. Yeah, no, no, I mean, he attacked the basket. He's been scoring well today. Yep. And apparently, I'm just being told that uh, the Raptors did have a timeout remaining. So, you know, do with that uh, as you will. 
Uh, but it's a, it's a tough loss for the Raptors. Um, it's a great game, very entertaining. So the Raptors uh, split the doubleheader tonight. The, the women's team takes the opener, 58-49. Uh, but the Raptors men's team comes up ever so short in overtime, 77-74. to Any final thoughts, Andre? It was a good day of basketball, and we'll be back uh, February 7th. February 7th. We'll be right back here when the Raptors entertain Chesapeake in another doubleheader. So we look forward to that. Thank you all for watching tonight. My thanks to Andre uh, Anderson, Evan Brown, our statistician, and everybody on the MCTV crew for another great job. So from all of us here at MCTV, thanks so much for watching Raptors basketball. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barging them. Got my heart no barging in. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' make the chow. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pals. Misty, we gon' get tips. You don't need a power shot. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. Plastic bars from a copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. The plastic bars from a copy my steel. Got my heart no. Heart no in the bed. Break you in, then. Get us every day. Got my heart no. Heart no in the bed. Rappers stay here doing son, I'm not a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told my dad today, he said it's all for ten. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got back in my bed, now I got no friends. Yeah. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap. I'm